Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of this video. It's going to be real short and sweet. I just started thinking about you might want to change this um, 5.09 triangle because you don't really have any control of it when you're drawing with the, you know, when you're hanging it out there. You're just, you know, there's there's no set, you know, standard. And it's kind of confusing up here in your dialog box. But since you've already measured it with your dimension tool that you know that this end is not uh, 5.09 and you know this is. And let's just say I want a 5 inch even triangle. Well, you need to make sure your ratio is locked. And just make this 5 inches. Now it's going to change the other number to 4.33. But that's because of the height of this and not the length of this. You know, so this is still a perfect triangle. Now, and while I'm just sitting here thinking about this, you put this in the center of the page because this might come up sometime. Let's draw a circle and let's put it in the center of the page. As you can see, I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. For some reason, Corel will not allow some items to be centered. This circle is centered, perfectly centered. The circle is. The triangle is not. It's because it's a weird size. So to get this triangle inside the circle, or at least equal, the way I would do it, would me to make it four-sided, press enter, and then just make it three-sided again. Now, your triangle, even look how far off it is that Corel thinks it is, but you are equal, equally in the center of, that, of the circle. So all these parts are equal. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.